everyone, it's Verity here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is part of my design teamwork for Wow Embossing Powders. Today I am showing you how you can add shine to your products three ways with varying Wow products. I created a love themed card, obviously Valentine's is coming up, but it doesn't say Valentine's Day on it, so it could be used for any occasion. So to start off with, I'm using the Love Letter Dye from Alt New, and I'm also using some Wow Embossing Powder Smooth Swipe White Cardstock as the base. Now I'm going to be doing some ink blending, so this card takes the ink really well and blends really well, but I'm creating a template for my hearts because I want to emboss through the template to add some metallic shine to the card. So to do this I'm using a scrap piece of card and just laying this over the top of my card panel and then I'm positioning the dies over the card panel and adhering with some washi tape to keep it in place whilst I die cut it. Once I die cut it then I've positioned it back onto my panel and just use a bit of washi tape to sort of secure it in place so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to use my clear ultra slow drying embossing pad from WOW and a sponge dauber just to apply the clear ink, clear sticky ink through my DIY heart stencil. And I'm just lifting it up to the light just to make sure I'm getting a really good coverage of the hearts. I'm not missing any area. And as you can see, when I take the stencil off, you can really see where the ink has been put through the stencil. For my first shine element of the card, I'm using metallic copper embossing powder. I love this metallic copper. It's gorgeous when it's heat set. I'm just sprinkling this over all the sticky ink. Now when I took off my stencil from the card, I did notice that I caught the card a couple of places. So although WOW embossing powder puts so much effort into anti-static and reducing that with their pots, unfortunately, I'd knocked the paper and some of my um, fingerprint is a residue transferred so that's why the powder stuck there. It wouldn't have done had I not really done that. And now I'm using the WOW embossing powder dual speed heat gun. It's in white and I absolutely love it in white and I'm just it's got two settings so you've got a faster and a slower speed and I'm just using that to heat set and then I've kept it in real time just to show you how quick it's heat setting the embossing powder. So once that's cooled down, I'm then going to be doing some ink blending behind the embossing powder hearts and using sort of an embossed recess technique so that I could make sure that I cover where the area I want, but I don't have to worry, I can rub the ink off the embossing powder. Now I could have done this before I heat embossed and stenciled the hearts, but because I was going to use distress oxides, those take a while to dry, the powder would have stuck to it, so it was just easier to first of all heat emboss and then ink blend over the top. I'm using sponge sugar distress oxide to begin with and then coming in with picked raspberry for a darker colour in the middle and I'm just blending between the two so I get a nice gradual ombre effect across the hearts and it lightens out on each of the edges. I really did quite enjoy ink blending over the smooth white cardstock from WOW. It really blended well, I've got a nice light appearance to it and I could really fade it out using a light hand. And then once I've done the ink blending I'm just using a microfiber cloth just to rub over the embossing hearts just to clear the ink off and bring out that shine from the metallic copper. Now for the rest of the card I wanted to add a few more hearts but in different colours and I thought I'd bring in the picked raspberry and the sponge sugar. The hearts that I created from the stencil, I'm now using these by covering these in ink by using direct to pad ink pad method and then I'm using some WOW clear gloss embossing powder and obviously distress oxides are sticky so they will adhere the powder and then once I heat set it I keep dunking it back into the pot whilst it's warm so more powder adheres and I can melt more of it so this will bulk up the dimension but the clear gloss adds a second layer of shine to my card. So I did this with a variety of different size hearts and I did pick raspberry and sponge sugar and now what I'm going to do is make my third shine element to the card. So WOW does some WOW fab foils and I'm using rose gold to tie in with the metallic copper embossing powder. I'm just using a die from MFT. This is the Love You die. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere some sticky double sided tape to 
the back of some white card and just burnish that down and then I'm going to peel that off and apply some of the gold over the top. I really want to burnish this on well, I didn't do it particularly well myself um, and it gave more of a distressed look which I didn't mind so you can do it a lot better than I can and you would get a nice clear look or you can do it like I did and get a bit more of a distressed look. So I just die cut through that and then those would have, I would hear those to the card. Now I wanted to bring in that foil in another area as well. So I'm just showing you another way, just with a strip of white card and just some double sided tape that you use to adhere your card bases down. So even if you don't have double adhesive paper, you can use double sided tape. And I'm just positioning the paper, I'm just positioning the foil over the tape once I've taken off the release paper and then burnished it on and removed it off again. So I trimmed the car panel down a little bit so I could have this peeking out one side as a trim. And then to mount the car panel onto the card base, I am just adhering some foam on the back and using some liquid glue to position that on the card base. What's great for some car accidents in the UK is the wow embossing powders cardstock. When you trim it down, it can fit onto our um, A2 size cards. I faffed about with the design a lot with this card for a while. You're not seeing the majority of that. Instead, uh, you're seeing the nicely edited version. So I decided to pop the Sentiments Love You on a stitched die cut white uh, circle. And to position them onto the to position them onto the circle, I'm using some multimedia matte adhesive. Now to try and get it centered, it's best to start with your middle letter first. As you can see, I started with the O, and then I'm positioning the Y and the U the either side. So th that allowed me to ensure that I wasn't off to one side. The love word above is obviously four letters. So I start off with positioning the O slightly off center of the other O to get this more equal as well and centered. Take a little bit of fiddling around to get that nice and straight. And as you can see, once they're all on, they're quite centered within the circle. So I foam mounted that onto my card panel, and then I'm adhering the hearts where I had clear embossed them, either directly to the card with the liquid glue, or I'm foam mounting them with some small foam adhesive pads, just to give some dimension and depth. To finish off the card, I just add some sequins it's from Lucy's cards, little things, and this is from a Freesia set. And what I really like about this card is it has quite a lot of shine to it. It has the metallic copper embossing powder shine. You then got the shine from the clear gloss where I've embossed the hearts and got some nice dimension on those. And then you've got the shine from the foil in the sentiment, but also that foil strip down the edge that just helps tie it in. What I really love about this card is it just looks like the hearts are floating up into the air. I hope this has inspired you to look at how you can add shine to your card in different ways and what products you can utilise. For example, there are so many different embossing powders by WOW that would be great for this technique. Also got a lovely range of foil colours as well. If you enjoyed the video I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel and why not hit that bell button so you could be notified when I next post a video. If you enjoyed this video why not check out this video where I've created coloured stamping on dark cardstock with embossing powders. Until next time, happy crafting!